Look, look at you. Yeah, she got one. She got, she got, she caught my PB. Let's get one thing out of the way right now. We are not beyond going trout fishing the day after they stocked, <laughs> are we, Bob? Day one, 2021. First day of the trout season. Here we come, looking for our double digit. That's right. That that's what we're after, and. It's a bittersweet time of the year because the ocean is shutting down or it's getting angry before winter and into fall and into winter, really the, the things that we target in this area are trout and surf perch. Because other than that, you know, outside of the winter rockfish trip, this is what happens. This is what we're going to be doing, this and surf perch fishing. But it's funny because we're, we're figuring it out, they planted the last two years in a row, the last Wednesday of October, just like clockwork last year, this exact time last year, Bob and I were doing the same exact thing. And today, the plan is to, instead of anchoring up in the hot spot, we have spot lock on Bob's boat. And if you don't know what spot lock is, it uses GPS and the trolling motor on a bass boat to keep you in one spot and it works behind the scenes flawlessly. So that's what we're excited about today. And other than that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the lake. Today, this video is sponsored by shopcarls.com. Really special time of the year when we got gifts and all that other stuff coming along. Right now they got a lot of cool deals starting now. 60% off a lot of things. So definitely go check them out. Oh, but, I really like Shop Carl's because they actually have more than just bass stuff. They got the terminal tackle, they got a bunch of things that you can use, even for trout, panfish, things like that. And what's really nice about them that I really love, especially right now in these times, is the shipping is really fast. It's actually faster than Amazon right now. So thank you, Shop Carl's. Go check them out. Again, it's that time of year when gifts are something that you're gonna to wanna to start looking at. And with that kind of savings, definitely check out shopcarls.com. All right, we're gonna start with the good old trusty rooster tail on an ultralight setup. So what I got here right now is four pound test, leader, 10 pound braid on this setup with the 1000 size reel. Ultralight setup, this rod that I'm gonna be using today can cast from 1 32nd of an ounce all the way up to, I believe a quarter ounce. Let me just double check. Yep, quarter ounce is the top of its class. It's a fast action lose rod. But yeah, this 10 pound test is the same diameter as two pound test. They don't school up. They don't school up. There you go. Oh, just got bit. Yeah, yeah, so trout that just get planted don't typically school up. They'll just keep on moving and your graph's not gonna see a big old stack of them or anything. I just got bit right now though. My, I think my drag might be a little loose. Got one? Bob's on. <laughs> oh, no, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Rookie. It's been a while. Nice fish. Nice. First trout of the day, Bob. Got these neon green tags to this year. So Bob's actually on spot lock right now. So we're just sitting here making casts. And uh, it's pretty nice. And we're only sitting in what? Nine feet of water? Another one? The flicker shad's doing work. Is that your wife? So a special treat today is Veronica gets to fish with us for about an hour and a half, two hours. So actually, what time is it? 7.20? She has about two, yeah, about two hours. So, yeah, we might be putting yeah. on a flick 
we're gonna we're gonna put her on some fish right now so this is what we're setting veronica up with right now as we pick her up from the dock flick a shad you control these or cast them so bob got two so far on the flick a shad shoot i might even switch to flick a shad oh hi honey hello hello here's your rod thank you bob i literally woke up at 6 20 i was like oh my god yeah I'll throw some power bait out too all right so here we go quick power bait setup super easy tiny treble hook going with a size 14 let them eat it hide it using the dough power bait but we got four pound test about 18 inches of leader half ounce sliding sinker i, I opted out of the bead this time because it's so light anyway and then a swivel pretty pretty simple rig we'll just throw it out there let this thing sit on the bottom let this float up top with the trout swim by can't help it Power bait is out. Okay. Oh, fish on. Here, honey. Yeah, <laughs> I just went to check it and uh, we got a fish on. Honey's got one on the power bait. There you go. Nice fish. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He's a skunk. Yeah. Man, I've been on a skunk. Right. skunk yeah. Maybe it'll be good, I think. Okay. First fish. Beautiful. Great. So nice thing about using a tiny hook is you can use a small amount that they, they can really swallow and then over time the hook doesn't weigh the the little dough ball down. Good right there we're good i don't know if you guys can see the line but that's why it's really nice to have high visibility line because you can see you leave bow in your line and as it starts to tighten up that's how you know you got a fish on so this line started off with a nice bow in it and since that sinker is on the bottom as the fish starts to pull away the sinker stays and it starts to take the slack out of your line oh fight fish 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 Watch it, right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, Hurry, Veronica, hurry. Get it, get it, get it. Right here. Oh, oh, oh. Anywhere. Right. Get it. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Woo! That one's a big one. Yeah, bigger. A bigger oh, fish. keep getting bigger. <gasps> easy, buddy, easy. And another nice thing about using tiny, tiny hooks is you don't use that much power bait at all. No. Like this is going to last a really long time. Well, a all right, power bait going back out. <sighs> another fish. Yeah, just stick to the rooster tail. They're doing, doing work on it. So we're only casting into like five feet of water. Yeah, it's really shallow up there. Oh, we got one? Yep. On the rooster? First cast with the rooster tail and I put the trout and kokanee magic on it. Okay. First fish on this ultralight. Yeah, buddy. Fish numero cinco. Oh, stop. Quit it. Whew. Yeah. There she is, guys. My first rainbow of the day.
Yep. Ooh. Nice jump. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna try to do it again. Yeah, Bob's got it. Oh, I love this rod. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah. That is a nice one. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry. All right. Quit it. Oh, he, yeah, I got him in the hard part, so that's good. Yeah, he was not going anywhere. That's for sure. Nice fish. It's all going according to plan. Ooh, this is casting nice. Oh, getting a fish. We're getting a bite right here on the on the power bait. Oh yeah. Yeah, just watch it. Just watch it. Just watch it. Yep, we're getting a bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bite. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 now. Now, now, now. Set the hook. Set the hook. There you go. There you go. Nice, honey. Nice. He's swimming towards me. Feels good to get on a bite, huh? Oh, yeah. Here, I'll go on the other side. Just, just follow it, follow it. Just follow it and keep tension. What? All right. This way. Keep going ahead. Yes! Ooh. Big one? That was Sound fast. like a big one. <gasps> He's so big! He's getting like bigger and bigger. Holy moly. That one's massive. Yeah, it's a good one. That's I know, a nice one. he was pulling drag. Nice job. Nice job. Another tip, always have enough treble hooks for your limit. Because <laughs> a lot of times you're going to lose your treble hooks in their mouths. I guess you could always retrieve it, but it's just nice to be able to, if it snaps, just tie another one right back on. Because sometimes retrieving it from the back of these trout's throat can be very difficult but this all goes without saying that this if you're going to go with this small of a treble hook you're not going to be doing catch and release you're going to be uh, keeping what you catch so just keep that in mind if you're trying to catch and release yeah go ahead and use bigger hooks or maybe even big circle hooks but the odds of your power bait sticking on aren't very high But there's probably not a lot of people who buy power bait and catch and release. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, he brought his own cooler. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Look how he sits. Look at this guy. And, uh, Overly yeah. dressed. Nah. So, anyway. Oh, what well, can I say? Cool. Oh. Hi guys. Hello. No, no, right no, before no. work? This is fun. <laughs> Dude, you guys are killing Nicest already, shoes huh? on the boat right there. Yeah, mm. food, dress shoes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hi. Wouldn't expect any less. All right. So far, two on the rooster tail, two on the flick of shad. Three on, three on. Uh, power bait. Oh, oh, yeah, honey, honey. Wait for it. Yeah, I think it's there. Start reeling a little bit. You feel it? There it is. Got it. Nice, 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 nice. There you go. Woo! Nice. Yee. Oh, another thick one. Yeah. Wow. Good plant, good plant. Just so you know, they get Mount Lassen trout here. Not all lakes get Mount Lassen. Most lakes will get the DFG plants, which are a little bit smaller, but Lake Kachuma actually pays for these plants. It gets everyone really excited. Cause yeah, if you go to like Lopez Lake or any other lake, the Department of Fish and Game, they plant smaller ones. Whew, we're calling it. Hopefully you guys learned a bunch from what we did and the ways that we got them today mostly it was that carolina rig with the tiny treble hook and the green garlic power bait that's the ticket here jeff fun bob oh we smashed him it was absolutely fine 
Yep. We'll be back. We'll be back. Still looking for the double digit. Yes, yes, that's true. We didn't get the double digit today. It was probably one of our best chances to get one, of course, because they just planted. And then also, just as an overview, spot lock was clutch. We were just sitting there. Bob was just asking too, hey, do you think we did better because we were on a boat or do you think we would have just done just as well on shore? We probably would have done pretty good on shore. However, the spot lock let us be just outside of where they cast and it also allows us to get a depth reading which we can be a little bit more accurate with it. But anyway, leave it in the comments. You think we would have been better off on shore or on the boat since we were just right there. But on another note, we didn't know either if it was gonna be crowded on the shore. So bringing the boat is always a good bet, especially when you have spot lock. Bruce is on one. The chrome and the, the, chrome and the chartreuse. Got him. Look at baby. Oh, Look at Bruce's. Look at baby. And his nice shirt. Oh. Hey, you got one before work. Oh, don't get dirty. So it's time we, we part ways. Veronica's leaving. It was fun. I got to reel in some good fish. There was a big one that I caught, so I'm super excited. It'll be a busy day. But I got to start it off with fishing. And I saw the sun rise over the mountain, so it was really nice. Cool. Oh, there it is. Nice. Got a nice pounder? Yep. Oh, he came off. Oh. 